Hello everyone, welcome to Portal 2. In the last episode, Wheatley completely, well, I don't know, previously Wheatley completely uh, betrayed us. And now we're stuck down here, all alone, in the old 1953 uh, laboratory. Get silo number 9. And these were old test chambers. So let's see what we got. That was fun. Not really enjoying how uh, unsafe this uh, this feels. Ooh, a pressure plate. Oh, okay. But I need a cube. Cube is quite important for this test chamber. So what if? Jump. Perfect. Thank you so much. Placed on there and Oh, right. The lab boys just informed me that I should not have mentioned the control group. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. I pay the bills here. I can talk about the control group all damn day. Uh, you probably don't wanna. Seem like you're on a power trip. Like you must control everything. For this next test, we put nanoparticles in the gel. In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you sat on a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing lead underpants, we took care of that too. Oh, okay, well. I feel like I'm part of the CIA. All right, okay, I need to go up there. Uh. All right. This is an easy test, no brainer for me. Easy. Hmm. All right, let's just see what I need to do here. But, oh, wow, that's not good. All right, need to go grab the cube. Get me over. Perfect. Oh, okay. This is not working out well. Never mind, it's working out well. Oh, in case you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. We oh. haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this, it's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. Well, thank you for telling me this after I touched it. Dave Johnson really doesn't care for human life. All he cares is science. That is his entire existence. All these science spheres are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. 
Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping, because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. Good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator, it makes a happy face. I love how he has a very bright outlook on uh, everything. Do not lean on rail. Leaning on rail, I'm breaking rules. Okay. So there's an exit up there. That's clearly where I need to get to. But I'm stuck down here. Ooh. Oh, right. I can, I can walk over. Uh, no. Shorter cut. Okay, so there is a button there. I like your style. You make up your own rules, just like me. Bean counter said I couldn't fire a man just for being in a wheelchair. Did it anyway. Ramps are expensive. So what do they want me to do here? Hmm. Well, I got covered in it, so... I'm gonna die. Perfect. Okay. So, do you want it? Not enough force. So to do this... Ooh, okay, 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 okay. I think I'm smart enough for this. We can get up there. Of enjoy these older chests slightly better because of the jail. All right, Cave Johnson, tell me what I am supposed to do. I need to get enough speed or inertia. To push myself over there. Ooh, okay, I have an idea. All right, here we go. Not enough. All right, I feel kind of stupid on on this one. Oh, 
got it. Clearly I'm supposed to be looking for something. Oh, okay. I understand now. I'm supposed to drop gel over there and then shoot myself through. And now I can go. Beautiful. Just a heads up, that coffee we gave you earlier had fluorescent calcium in it so we can track the neuronal activity in your brain. There's a slight chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Anyway, don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. Oh gosh, this, this is some horrible testing methods. This is not a facility I ever want to work for. I prefer Black Mesa even though... Uh, the, uh... And I shit the bed. And currently the whole world fell apart because of them. At least now, if you're things. part of control group Kepler-7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you've forgotten it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're going to need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. Oh, wonderful. More. All right. I think I have enough blue, Joe. So, up there is the button. Perfect. I'm telling them, keep your pants on. All right, this next test may involve trace amounts of time travel. So, word of advice, if you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time. Entirely. Forward and backward. So, do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business. What the fuck were you tampering with? Although I should never really ask. Okay. I died. Never a good sign. I'm telling them, keep your pants on. All right, this next test may involve trace amounts of time travel. So, word of advice, if you meet yourself Shit. on the testing track, don't make eye contact. I'll make eye contact if I want to, Cave Johnson. I'm telling them, keep your pants on. All right, this next test may involve trace amounts of time travel. So, word of advice, if you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time. Entirely. Forward and backward. So, do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business. <laughs> right, can do, can do. Bam. 
This is clear gel. That'll clean it up. Accidents, <coughs> accidents occur. You will be hurt. Coworkers don't endanger others. The company replacements are costly. Science investigations impede progress. <coughs> Sounds like a brainwashing facility. <coughs> <coughs> Still getting over that sickness. Alright, give me another one up there. looking good and we'll get some more gel over there perfect all right so I'm assuming I should be fine um, assuming okay that was an easy one now, uh, is there a place they want me to jump besides to my death? Okay, where's my exit? Is that my exit? Down? No, that was the entrance. I'm working my way up. Four. Go over there. If you're hearing this, it means you're taking a long time on the catwalks between tests. The lab boys say that might be a fear reaction. I'm no psychiatrist, but coming from a bunch of eggheads who wouldn't recognize the thrill of danger if it walked up and snapped their little pink bras, that sounds like projection. They didn't fly into space, storm a beach, or bring back the gold. No, sir, we did. It's you and me against the world, son. I like your grit. Hustle could use the work, though. Now let's solve this thing. Sir, sure. people probably don't want to die. Oh, that's cool. We could time to really make the physics look nice. All right, let's see what this button does. So that'll drag me up to the exit. Um. Ooh, I have an idea. Alright, now catching that cube's gonna be a pain in the ass. Where the frick did it go? Gotcha. And we just clear her off and good to go. Alright. Look at that. Son of a bitch. Where the fuck did my. Yep, come back here. Okay, don't get this soaked. Alright. Damn it. And then I can just dump it. Science isn't about why. It's about why not. Why is so much of our science dangerous? Why not marry safe science if you love it so much? In fact, why not invent a special safety door that won't hit you on the butt on the way out because you are fired? Now you test subject, you're doing fine. Yes, you, box your stuff. Out the front door, parking lot, car, goodbye. You know, some people don't want to die, Mr. Cave Johnson. He has an idol of science in his uh, office. 
que Congratulations. Se The simple fact that you're standing here listening to me means you've made a glorious contribution to science. Thank you. As founder and CEO of Aperture Science, I thank you for your participation and hope we can count on you for another round of tests. We're not going to release this stuff into the wild until it's good and damn ready, so as long as you keep yourself in top physical form, there will always be a limo waiting for you. Say goodbye, Carolyn. Goodbye, Carolyn. She is a gem. Oh, I, do, I don't think I like any of this. Right, elevator surface. Hmm. Some portals don't stick to wood. Ah. <laughs> oh, hello. This is beta. <laughs> I see what it. Ah, uh, actually, I don't even see what to do. Hmm. Okay. Let's go ahead and jump off. All right, that did nothing. Damn it. What? So nothing's gonna happen if I do that. Actually, I can just ditch up here. That'll get me set up. Okay, okay, I see, I see, I see. Bam. And I'm in. So what, you have to science your way over to a um, control system. Alright, pump station beta. So that must be the speed jail. Right. Almost up to the next test chamber. Oh, they just goes up. Greetings, friend. Oh, I'm Kays Johnson, CEO of Aperture Science. You might know us as a vital participant in the 1968 Senate hearings on missing astronauts. And you've most likely used one of the many products we invented, but that other people have somehow managed to steal from us. Black Mesa can eat my bankrupt- Sir, the testing? Right. Now you might be asking yourself, Cave, just how difficult are these tests? What was in that phone book of a contract I signed? Am I in danger? Let me answer those questions with a question. Who wants to make $60? Cash. You can also feel free to relax for up to 20 minutes in the waiting room, which is a damn sight more comfortable than the park benches most of you were sleeping on when we found you. So, welcome to Aperture. You're here because we want the best, and you're it. Nope, couldn't keep a straight face. Anyway, don't smudge up the glass down there. In fact, why don't you just go ahead and not touch anything unless it's test related. So 1968, they now have homeless people. Things start falling apart. If you had a bit of an ethical test ethic, that would have been nice. They have computers now. Give mm -mm -mm. Johnson getting much, much older. Alright, I see what I'm supposed to do. Fuck. Okay. Alright, never mind. I was supposed to actually. What? <coughs> oh, wow. 
Did I almost make that? Ooh, I did almost make that. The problem is there is a puzzle to be solved. I cannot cheese this shit. So, let's open up a new portal. Get on up there. And we'll be good to go. There we go, much better. Control room. Tell me about Gabe Johnson, Mrs. Potato. I am very much intrigued. Did anything happen while I was out? No, uh, no, no. The testing area is just up ahead. The quicker you get through, the quicker you'll get your 60 bucks. Oh, God. Carolyn, are the compensation vouchers ready? Yes, yes sir, sir, Mr. Johnson. Why did I just... Who is that? What the hell is going on here? Hmm, it could calm down there, potato. I have a test to do. Okay. I think I know how this is gonna work. Let's see if I can send myself up there again. Yeah, I can do this. Okay, here we go. Wait, what? Kind of just ignore that button there. Hmm. Okay. I don't think this is the place I'm supposed to be. Alright. Let's go back over here. Let's see what this button does. Ah. Okay. So, to do what I need to do. Alright. Orange. If... That's over there. Use blue here. Then I'll just jump through and... Perfect. Look at me go. Alright, and that's in there. There we go. I can pick this up easily. Go. Yep. 
And the ramp is at the ready. Look at me. An absolute professional. Huh. I don't think I can. How do I get... Do I get speed gel up here? No, I can't do that. I might have an idea. So if I just do this backwards. Oh, that works. All right, we're good to go. Okay, I guess emotional outbursts require more than 1.6 volts. Now we know that. We just need to relax. We're still going to find out what the hell's going on here, but calmly. Well, yeah, you have no choice but to do it calmly because. Oh. Don't just overcharge yourself. Alright. But I'm going to end it here, everyone. So thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like. If you want to see more of this in the future, please give it a subscribe. And if you have any more game suggestions below, please leave them in the comments. Anyway, have a great day. Goodbye.